Uh, as a national director of UNM, I get the amazing job to travel all across the country to our state pageants, and I've met maybe half of you this year. Some of you I'm meeting this week for the first time, and it's so exciting, but I get to have conversations with amazing young women all over the country. Uh, not only just meeting them at state pageants, but sometimes through my girl chats that we'll have one, we'll have a national girl chat this Thursday. Um, and I have conversations with a lot of people. A lot, a lot of girls. A lot of times those conversations, I mean, I, I'm gonna say it again, I'm old, sometimes I forget them, right? Like I meet someone, I talk to them, it's great, it's so much fun, and then five minutes later I'm like, what did we talk about? I don't remember. Sometimes we have conversations and those conversations stick. So I wanna talk to you a little bit about a conversation I had this year with someone who's actually in this room, and I'm not gonna say who she is, but this conversation really stood out to me. Um, it was three words in that conversation actually that stood out to me. In fact, those three words didn't just stick out, they shook me to the core. Are you listening? This is really important. These three words impacted me in such a huge way, opened my eyes why positive pageantry is such a needed movement especially in today's society. A girl said to me, thank you for creating a pageant where girls like me feel welcomed and feel like I belong. Girls like me. Those three words, I will never ever forget them because before me I saw a girl who was beautiful, she was accomplished, she had the sweetest soul and her joy radiated from her eyes. She was kind, she was everything that a pageant queen should be. But this girl did not think she was good enough. This girl thought she was less. This girl thought she looked different than everyone else. Uh, here we go. She thought she was a little bit less than others and a little bit less in certain areas and she thought she was a little bit too much in other areas. This girl didn't think she measured up. I didn't see her that way. She saw herself that way. And the truth is at one point or another, I think we all feel that way. And the reason I can't shake those three words is because the truth is I was feeling that way at the time. Uh, so even as a national pageant director, I have moments where I feel like I'm less, I'm not good enough. And I think we all can relate to that. And we have insecurities, and being at a pageant with so many wonderful young women, it's really easy to look to your left and look to your right and start comparing yourself to others. Everyone in this room is intelligent, beautiful, accomplished, yet we sometimes take a step back and say, we're not as beautiful, we're not as intelligent, we're not as accomplished. We start to wonder if we're enough. Are we smart enough? Are we pretty enough? Can we do this? Are we good enough to be a national queen? Are we skinny enough? Are we tall enough? Are we talkative enough? Are we enough? And the answer to that sometimes is we don't feel like we are. Can anyone relate? In our walk through this journey, um, when we compare ourselves to other girls and feel like we're not good enough to fit into this pageant universe, and I've certainly felt this way as a national director as well. I'm not a former pageant girl. I've never won a pageant. I'm not tall or skinny. And I've, I guess I have many self-perceived imperfections when I look in the mirror. Girls like me don't end up being national directors of a pageant like USA National Miss. This is a nationally recognized pageant. It's an industry where beauty and glamour reigns. But you know what? I am more than what I see in the mirror, and so are you. 
It doesn't matter what you look like, talk like, act like, walk like, interview like, what your hair looks like, what your wardrobe looks like. None of that matters, girls. I want you to really listen to what I'm trying to tell you. What's on the inside when you look in the mirror, the only thing that matters is what's on the inside, not what you see when you look in the mirror. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that at the girl chat as well. But this is why we have to break down these barriers and these stereotypes and these preconceived definitions of what a pageant girl is because pageantry is for every girl. Short, skinny, tall, new, seasoned, it doesn't really matter. Pageantry should be for every girl. So to that girl from that conversation this year and to all of you girls here tonight, you belong here and you are good enough. Say, I am good enough. God created a masterpiece when he created you. All the pieces are there exactly the way that he designed them to be. You are no less than you're supposed to be. You are exactly the way God intended for his creation to be. You are perfect just the way you are. I want you to remember this as you go about your week this week. I want you, when you look in the mirror, I want you to look beyond what your hair and makeup looks like. Right now, I'm gonna tell y'all, this is a little personal. I would never be standing in a stage like this with this crazy, whatever this is going on on my head right now. Um, and I haven't freshened up my makeup since 6 a.m., but you know what? In keeping with this speech, I said, you know what? I'm gonna go have a slice of pizza. And I'm, <laughs> yes, and I'm just gonna throw my hair up in a messy ponytail, because you know what? I am more than this, and you are more than this. Look at your sash, and it's a great accomplishment. This is not who you are. This sash does not define who you are. The crown on your head does not define who you are. If you walk out of here with your state crown or the national crown, it does not define who you are. The only thing that defines who you are is on the inside. What kind of heart do you have? How are you serving others? How do you interact with other people? Are you leaving people feeling more empowered after having spoken to you than they were before? Those are the things that matter. So here in living proof testimony of coming, trying to overcome that stigma and that mindset, I stand before you with messy hair, really bad makeup, <laughs> and a full belly of pizza, and I am so overjoyed and so thankful to be here with a group of girls so special. All right? You are way more than this. This whole week here is gonna be fun. It's going to be amazing, guys. We're gonna have such a good time. Only six of you will leave with the national crown, but you know what? Even my beautiful national queens, they are more than those crowns. They are special girls to me. I don't know where the other ones are. There you guys are. Um, we don't believe that a crown and a sash defines you. They were just given the opportunity to wear it for a year, but you know what? After they take it off on Saturday night, Thank you, new friend. Uh, <laughs> they are still the awesome, epic Michaela, Jules, Naya, Allie, Tessa, and Emery. The crown does not define them. And the crown, oh, don't look at me crying, Allie. <laughs> and the crown does not define you either. So please remember that. You are so much more than all of this, girls. Look deeper. Look way, way deeper than what you see in the mirror. I love you guys, and I'm praying that you have a wonderful week. 